When it comes to type 2 diabetes, we generally focus on reducing the consumption of carbohydrates. No doubt, excessive carbohydrate consumption could lead to onset of type 2 diabetes. However, we are missing a very big picture here, right? It has been found that microbial metabolism of specific amino acids and molecular substrates could interfere with the insulin signaling pathways, could lead to insulin resistance and trigger onset of type 2 diabetes. So one is one of these metabolites or our microbial byproduct is precrisol, right? Which is a, a fermentation by your gut microbiome, you know, fermentation of a specific amino acid called tyrosine. So precrisol actually interferes with the insulin signaling pathways in the liver and muscle cells and causes insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Then second is imdesyl propionate, right, IMP, which is an which is a byproduct of your microbiome actually metabolizing amino acid histidine, right? Now, you know, this IMP actually, you know, what it does, it, it actually, you know, inhibits glucose tolerance. It, you know, inhibits insulin signaling pathways and it also inhibits insulin receptor, you know, substrate by activating mTOR complex one, which leads to endothelial dysfunction and type two diabetes, right? Third is, you know, phenylacetylglutamine, PAG, which is again your microbiome fermenting amino acid phenylalanine, right? So again, you know, phenylacetylglutamine, PAG, you know, uh, triggers oxidative stress and leads to endothelial dysfunction. And it actually, you know, interferes with the nitric oxide production. We all know that we need nitric oxide to, to regulate glucose uptake. <clears throat> Third is, TMAO, which is again your microbiome, your gut or oral microbiome actually metabolizing choline and lecithin into TMA, which goes to your liver and where it is oxidized into TMAO. Now, TMAO actually, you know, uh, leads to beta cell dysfunction, right? And as well as it actually, you know, uh, inhibits uh, endothelial nitrocyte synthase activity, which actually inhibits which leads to functional loss of nitric oxide production and this leads to onset of type 2 diabetes. So you have to understand that how your microbiome is interacting with different amino acids to determine whether, you know, these metabolites are actually causing, you know, insulin resistance or not, right? So your protein consumption may also be an early risk factor for type 2 diabetes.